For the first family of Imo State, Owele Rocha Sokoracha and his wife, Norma Nketi Okoracha. The year 2013 will forever remain evergreen for the landmark celebration of the marriage of their first daughter, Uloma to Uche Ngosu, in an event that brought an entirely new vista to the social-political landscape of Imo State. The multi-legged event began on Thursday, January 3, 2013, with a traditional marriage, Ibankunwai, which took place in the hometown of Governor Rocha Sokorocha, Omoko in Idiato South area of Imo State, attracted the presence of an audience mix that can best be described as Mini Nigeria, where virtually all the ethnic groups in Nigeria were adequately represented. This cut across different spheres of importance in the country, the traditional institution, the academia, the business with politicians from all political parties in attendance. Leading the star-studded dignitaries was former head of state, General Abdusalam Abubakar, the governors of Niger, Abia, Anambra, River State, and representative of other governors and their deputies from different states of the country. Indeed, if it was to test to ascertain how intact the political capital Governor Rocha Sukurcha has acquired in his many decades as a vibrant participant in Nigeria's political fray, Governor Rocha's has confirmed beyond any reasonable doubt that his political machinery is still very much pan-Nigerian, and should there be the need for a candidate for Igbo presidency at any time, whether now or in the future, Governor Rocha's perfectly fits the bill. The event began with performance of traditional cultural music and the breaking of color knots, which was handled by the chairman of Imo Traditional Rulers Council, after prayers were said in terms for the success of the marriage. Before too long, the groom, Uche Ngosu, who had served Governor Kurocha diligently in different capacities before he became a governor, came with his friends amidst fanfare. For the groom, Uche Ngosu, who is now Imo State Commissioner for Lands and Urban Development, it is an occasion to look back and thank God for having served his boss properly with undivided loyalty. The beautiful bride, who is a replica of her mother, the First Lady of Imo State, Norma Nkechi Okoroja, soon came in with her friends and was led round the arena by her mother to greet the dignitaries. Governor Okoroja gave his daughter the small keg of palm wine for his daughter to take to her husband, who also lovingly gulped it before they both went for the special blessings of their parents, with Governor Okoroja leading the way while others followed. The bride was presented a land in Niger State for the building of the office of Rocha's Foundation in Mina, Niger State. The couple cut the cake and took to the dance floor. <laughs> The church service took place at the Holy Cross Catholic Church, Aladimma, in Owerri, Imo State. Former President Obasanjo, the National Security Advisor, 
Colonel Sambo Dasuki, who represented President Jonathan, Governors Oduaha, Amosun, and their wives, as well as the wives of the governors of Lagos, Bayelsa, Nasarawa, Rivers, and other dignitaries, honored Governor Okorocha and his wife at the service. The service began as Governor Okorocha and his daughter walked into the church as the choir and congregation sang along. The Emeritus Reverend Ochara of the Catholic Church, who preached the sermon, led other clergymen from the Catholic faith from across Nigeria at the service. In his homily, the Most Reverend Ochara admonished the couple to live their lives in the way of the Lord with undivided love for each other and unconditional respect for each other. He advised them to pray always and congratulated their parents on the milestone. Let nothing, Michelle, Ulama, come between you and your spouse. Let nothing come between you and your God. You see what Sarah and Tobias did. Pray. The first thing is pray. Acknowledge God. Pray. Let nothing stand between you and your God. I plead with you, be yourself. Have nothing to hide. Be open to each other. Your contacts to be same of your spouse. Your program should not leave your spouse guessing what happens next. rendered special songs of inspiration which led to the Holy Communion which was served to the couple to spiritually fortify their union. The couple and their parents were prayed for by the clergy before the signing of the marriage register. The sponsors of the marriage were Senator Osita Izunaso and his wife. There were goodwill messages from former President Obasanjo and Colonel Sambo Dasuki, National Security Advisor, 
who represented President Goodluck Jonathan. The vote of thanks was given by Governor Okorocha. The couple and their parents then took photo and video shots with a diverse array of their friends. The reception was held at the newly constructed Hero Square, Owera Ima State, with more dignitaries in attendance. This included the governors of Oyo, Gumbe, Edo and Akwaibam State, as well as other top flyers in the society. The energetic entry of the couple and the bridal train into the arena kick-started the event which was chaired by Governor Adam Soshomale of Edo State.
here, my dear host, because I'm an in-law of Ibo land. My dear wife, Ikaiche Unoma Gosfila Kwabio, is one of your daughters. And because of that, I'm familiar with the tradition that the Kola not does not understand English. Most of the time, the language of the Kola not is Igbo. And therefore, I would like one of the greatest icons of Nigeria and Igbo land, Chief Emmanuel Iwayawu, to help me out. Nibo, Mamano. Nibo, Mamano. Mamano, Poparanga. Nibo, Eskalano. Mamano, Jagamba. Eto, Dimanakom, Remos. Only a crack in one time. I'm here, teacher. I'm not forgetting. I see. I am proud In his remarks, Governor Adam Sushomale congratulated the parents on the occasion and gave the couple nudges of very vital tips that can lead to the success of the union, drawing from his many decades of experience in the sacred marriage institution. The cutting of the cake was also observed at the event. We bless God for this day. We thank God for Uloma and Uche. The Lord has already blessed this marriage. And they're about to cut their cake together, their very first assignment together. And we bless God that we're all going to be living witnesses to this assignment. The cake is awesome. I've never seen anything like it. It's bling, bling, bling all the way. Just as the bride's dress is bling, bling, bling all the way. We're going to count just three. But we are starting from the higher number. Three. Two. Two and a half. One and a half. One. Zero. Praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> 
there were goodwill messages from some governors and dignitaries. And to also congratulate the parents, whom I know today is one of their joyous moments in their life. On behalf of my colleagues, I say congratulations to all of us. I stand here on behalf of the mother of the nation and the first lady of Nigeria. She has sent her goodwill to Uloma and Uche. She is unavoidably absent, but she is here with us in spirit. And she has asked me to tell Uloma and Uche she loves them, she cherishes them, and she will be a mother to them forever. She has also asked me to tell them that the good Lord is going to bless their union with children and they will find favor before the Most High God. You will see your children, children. On behalf of the governors from the Southwest, congratulate the new couples and to give them just one good advice. For some of us, we've been married for a very short period of time. I've been married for 33 years. And during that period, the only thing my wife does that I do not like, that we fight over, is what I want you to be doing as a wife, Loma. And that is that anytime I'm quarreling with anybody, instead of my wife to be supporting me, she will be supporting the person I'm quarreling with. Why? She will say, I don't want you to have enemies i advise you make sure you create friends for your husband lastly is the fact that my wife all the time makes sure that i don't eat outside unless the food is very tasty what does she do five times a day i eat in the house and one night, I went out to visit friends, and I'd eaten there, and I was full. And my wife brought my food, and this time it was Samala, late in the night. And I thought she was sleeping. I looked left, I looked right, I took the Amala, threw it outside of the window, and I drank the, and I drank water, ate the meat. And the following morning, my wife went out and brought the amount. I said, I caught you, but I respect you because you always want to satisfy me. So Uche, always do your best to satisfy your wife. Governor Kurocha danced with his daughter before the couple engaged each other in a special dance. The toast of the couple was proposed. Glasses were clinked to the continued success of the union. The last item on the card was performance, which featured Two Face and others. To finally draw the curtain on the Okoro Chamwosu wedding extravaganza was a black tie dinner which took place at the government house over Imo State. This was strictly entertainment and merrymaking to formally wind down the days of celebration. On hand to perform were Sound Sultan, Two Face, and Dede Mabiaku. Congrats to the Okorochas and Mwosu families. As you see,